Hi everyone, my name is Crystal Rose Shirley and today I'm going to discuss with you my musical journey so far. So, where do we start? Right, at the age of one, two, um, my mum and my auntie, we were shopping in Tesco's and Seven Sisters, if anyone knows that one. <laughs> Famous Tesco's. Um, and a rusty man came up to my mum and my auntie and said, you know, you see that girl in the trolley? Me. Um, that she's going to be a singer. And my mum's like, what? Are you serious? You know, like, I was only about one. I was a baby. And she's like, how do you know this? You know, and he's like, you know, I know. And my mum's like, wow, <laughs> my daughter's going to be a singer. Uh, fortunately, he was correct. I am a singer, songwriter. And, you know, from the age of about five, I fell in love with music. I started off writing my own poems um, and one day I woke up and I was like, you know, like, mum, I want to try and write my own music. I want to, I want to progress myself, you know, and I started listening to different artists such as Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, Bobby Valentino and I ended up writing my own music. I, you know, I cracked it, I cracked the structure by myself. <laughs> yeah, and um, it was amazing because I started seeing more of my talent. I started showing people more of what I can do. My arms, like, you know, like, this is God's gift, you know? Um, I started singing with my granddad. I started singing like holy gospel songs, which helped develop my vocal cords. Um, after I left school in 2010, I decided to join Haringey Sixth Form Centre. I gave my mum the choice of what she wanted me to study, whether it was business or music. And I said, you know, mum, I'm letting you decide this. And she said, go for music. You're a singer. This is you. And I said, wow, you know, I'm so excited. So I went on studying for three years, qualified in 2013 with distinctions, um, the music national diploma. Um, studying music gave me an idea of what I needed to learn progressing into an artist such as relations within the business, um, stage rehearsals, performances, studio work, producing, everything that goes on behind the closed doors, basically. So I got a really good insight in that. It was absolutely amazing. I mean, it felt like it was, it feels like it was yesterday that I've done it. But um, yeah, I worked with quite a few people. I don't know whether you know of um, Gaten, Reptar, you know, people like that. I mean, it was absolutely amazing. And um, after I left music, you know, um, that's when I started telling everyone that I'm a singer, this is me. Because before it was like, it was just like a hobby at first. I didn't really tell anyone that I was a singer. Unless you really knew me personally, you wouldn't have known that even in school, you know. And the feedback that I got when I first put music out on YouTube and started singing in front of people, I mean, they were so amazed. They were so proud of me. You know, and I felt so loved and so appreciated and I just want to thank all of my fans for supporting me and wishing the best for me and pushing me to continue with my career and become a successful recording artist that I wish to be. Um, it's been, it's been absolutely amazing. I mean, I've met some amazing people. Uh, at the end of this month, I'm actually performing at Avalanche's launch party for his album and congratulations to Avalanche. Um, we're going to have an amazing night at the end of this month. Whoever's coming, let's have fun. You know, you're going to be seeing me performing. You may know some of my tracks such as Ain't Easy, Moving On, Thinking Of You. Uh, Thinking Of You was very successful in the past year, 2015. I mean, the feedback that I've received worldwide, it's been absolutely amazing. I mean, I've had radio stations all over the country, mainly America, um, playing my music, telling me how much they love it. I mean, I want to thank everyone that gives me the motivation to continue and pursue my career. Every day, I mean, I get asked, Crystal Rose, like, what type of artist are you? What genre do you, what genre are you based in? And I say, oh gosh, here we go again, that same question. And to answer that question, I don't want to specify myself um, under one particular genre. I mean, some people may class me as an R&B artist, but I wouldn't want to class myself as that. I'm more of a versatile artist, so I like trying different things, such as I've worked on dubstep tracks, I've worked on reggae tracks, I like a bit of dancehall, 
I like garage, I like all different things. So I'm very versatile in what I'm working on in my music, which you will see in the progress of 2016 coming up. Um, there's a lot coming up, loads of videos, loads of interviews, loads of performances. So stay tuned, definitely, for Crystal Rose's upcoming events. So um, in 2013, as I qualified for music, uh, it was quite a difficult year for me as I'd lost my grandfather. Um, he was my number one motivator. I remember singing holy songs with him and he always he always motivated me and he always told me if there's anything that I want out of this life, I must go for it, you know. And I remember watching The X Factor when Leona Lewis won and I said, Dad, you know, like, she's amazing on that stage and in front of everyone, I mean... She inspired me to want to get up and want to be like her and want to be able to perform in front of thousands and millions of people. And I said, Dad, I want to be like that one day. And he said, you know, if this is what you want, go for it. You can do anything, you know. And I'm very grateful for him giving me that motivation, and that positive energy to continue within my career. And that's the reason why I will not stop with my career. You know, I mean, I need to push it to the most of my potential, the best of my potential and I won't let anything stop me getting in the way of that. I mean, as everyone else, we go through downfalls in life. We make mistakes, but we make mistakes to learn from them. I mean, I've had experiences with producers and with artists that I've met, um, maybe being offered to go to a modelling photo shoot. I've had a bad experience um, where I was invited to a shoot in South London and it ended up being looking like something like a trap house, if you know what that means. and. It was quite scary, but thank God, you know, I met another beautiful model there, my Michael Giselle. And, you know, she was my angel. She saved me and we were both chasing our dream. She's a singer also. And, you know, I met a good connection and we made sure that we were safe and we got home safe. And I just want to say, you know, for everyone out there chasing their dream, please just be very careful. If you are going somewhere that you've never been before, please tell someone where you are going you know, because it's really important because some people don't get away as luckily as I did. You know, like it's very dangerous out there. So please be safe. Hi, guys. If you can please follow the links below and like, comment and share this video. I mean, I appreciate all your support once again. Thank you very much. and Happy New Year. <laughs>